All right, time now for a Commitment 2010 report, and we want to welcome back to our newscast candidate for governor, a Democrat, of course, is also a former congressman, Neil Amarcarmi. Sir, oh, thanks for being here. Great to be with you. Really appreciate it. And uh, I guess the hot topic this week has to be the veto of the civil unions yeah. bill. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say that your candidate, your opponent in the least the Democratic primary, Mufi Hanneman, yourself, mm -hmm. you, you agree on a lot of issues from rail mm -hmm. transit to a, a lot of your different approaches. Mm -hmm. But this is one where there's a real stark difference. And uh, he says that this should be put to a vote by the people, and you disagree. Well, I'm not the only one who disagrees on that. Senator Inouye uh, just this past week noted uh, that uh, uh, when it comes to interracial marriage, for example, people in Hawaii uh, would not have been eligible to marry uh, their spouses uh, in this country uh, right at the time when uh, the president's mother and father were getting together, for example. So uh, discrimination is the issue. It's not marriage. This bill really wasn't about marriage. Saying it doesn't make it so. Some people might want to make it that, but it isn't. This is about civil rights, and it's uh, uh, the kind of thing that uh, I think Hawaii has some history with. If you were Japanese American in World War II, you were put in a detention camp because of your category. So you have to be real careful when you get into the idea of discrimination in categories that you don't approve of. Now, some people, though, would say, well, why not put it to the people, though? If the, let the people decide. Are you afraid of the you, tyranny you, you, of the people? <laughs> the, right from the very beginning of, of our country, uh, when the founders uh, wrote the Constitution, they wanted to make sure that minorities were not discriminated against. That's the whole idea. Uh, if you'd put uh, slavery up to a vote, what if it, that, that had succeeded? Or women being able to vote, uh, or uh, Japanese Americans being put in detention camps, or any other category. Uh, you can't put civil rights up to a vote and say the popular fashion of the moment is going to rule. I think that, uh, especially if you're going to exhibit leadership, if you're going to be the governor, you have to defend the Constitution. You can't look to see, uh, put your finger in the, in the air and try and see what the popular will of the moment is. You have to stand up for the Constitution, show a little leadership. If elected, how high is this issue on your list of things to do immediately as soon as you get into office? I think the immediate thing we have to do when we get into office is see to it that we get educational excellence, that we decentralize the, the school system and see that the, we support the teacher in the classroom, that we, that we decentralize the authority back to the school level. I think we have to move then on energy independence, on, on environmental sustainability, and an economic recovery that doesn't import real estate speculators and export our kids. We don't need issues that divide us. We need leadership that's going to focus on real issues that have uh, uh, impact on the immediate lives of people in the state of Hawaii. There's been too much division. I've been listening to people for more than a year now. They don't want these divisive issues. What they want is concentration on how we're going to move forward in Hawaii. But this, this threatens to be a, a, a divisive campaign coming up right now uh, into the Democratic primary. Now, your opponent is going to eventually step down finally on July, I believe, 20th or 22nd yeah. uh, sometime a little bit later in this mm -hmm. month. And then do you feel it will be a, l a little more of a level playing field as far as just being candidate to candidate? Well, whether it's candidate to candidate, I, I think, is less of an issue than whether you can exhibit leadership. This uh, 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 campaign will be a referendum on leadership, and we, I think we've already seen it. I've made my position clear. I'm for uh, the constitutional civil rights of people. Uh, I'm for uh, putting an education program that gets the authority back into the classroom. I'm for real energy independence that moves us away from ca uh, carbon-based fuels uh, having to be imported in, into, the, into the state. I've been crystal clear all along. I didn't try and have never tried to have a position that allows me to waffle back and forth so that I can try and figure out how to advance my own political career. So people will make a decision. What's going to be crystal clear is what kind of leader do you want in the state of Hawaii? And I, I, I'm, I welcome that. All right. Uh, thank you very much for being here, sir. Really appreciate it. Thank and you very much. And, of course, this former Congressman Neil Abercrombie and Mayor Mufi Hanneman will be on our newscast. He's scheduled to be here on our July 22nd uh, newscast. And uh, thank you again, sir, and I'm sure we'll have you back on soon. I hope so. Thanks.